Good evening. Chaotic moments captured on dash cam footage following a hydrovolt explosion earlier today right here on Bay in Adelaide and it sent people running. You can see tonight it's a much calmer scene here today with hydro crews remaining at the scene to carry out repair work. Now, we do know that equipment failure is to blame. However, Toronto Hydro says it's still trying to determine what caused it. You know, it was one lady, I think it was the top of the smoke, and she ran, everybody ran. Panic in the downtown core captured on this cab driver's dash cam. Shortly before 5 p.m. today, when witnesses describe hearing what sounded like an explosion, dark smoke can be seen rising into the air from a sewer grate. It was a lot, big bang and lots of smoke coming out from underground. Toronto fire crews arrived to the scene investigating nearby buildings. Though there was smoke underground, there was no fire. Smoke is always toxic, so you, you never want to expose yourself to smoke. There weren't any evacuations or injuries. However, streets were close to pedestrians and drivers. Uh, sometimes we do have multiple explosions with the uh, hydrovolts. They continue to go. So uh, that's why we uh, stand back, wait for hydro to arrive on scene. As crews arrived to the scene, Toronto Hydro discovered two of its feeders, thick cables that distribute electricity, were affected. At least one building lost power and businesses had to close early. The Toronto Hydro was able to isolate the issue. There was no exact diagnosis right away. We still have to do our damage assessment, so we're unclear about the uh, level of damage and exactly what caused the outage. It's not a, a common occurrence. Unfortunately, two of them have occurred within a short period of time, however. Back in May, a hydro vault explosion at King and Bay sent people running. Loud bangs were followed by thick smoke and flames. Flooding following heavy rainfall in Toronto is suspected in that vault fire. However, Toronto Hydro says that is not the case in today's incident. Underground crews work throughout the evening to replace the damaged equipment. What we're trying to do right now is make sure that nobody is affected by this outage. Um, switch people over as best as we can, isolate it and uh, make sure that we can repair it without any impact to our customers downtown. Well, the streets have since reopened with the exception of this one lane here on Adelaide as crews continue their work. Now, they're looking to replace and repair that damaged equipment. Then they tell me they'll uh, rehook and restore the, feeder, uh, the feeders, but um, there's no timeline as to how long this work could actually take.